Hey there, everybody. This is Wild Goat here from the Adventures of Wild Goat, and we're going to learn how to add your subscriber count to your live stream overlay. First up, you're going to go into YouTube Studio and go under Analytics. After you're in the Analytics, look over to the right hand side. You'll see See Live Count. Click on that. That should open up a window that has your live subscriber count on it. Copy and paste the URL in any way that you can do that. In the example here, I click on it, select all, and then copy. Now that you have that URL, you can come over here into OBS. Everybody's OBS is gonna look a little bit different. This is my testing OBS, so it definitely looks a lot different. If you're building everything right in your scenes, I would recommend that you need to watch a bunch of other videos to know how to build sources and nests. But if this is how you build your overlays, then keep going. I am going to put this URL into my sources. I already have one placed in here, but I'm going to put a new one. It's going to be a browser source, and I'm gonna call it sub counter. It's going to add this browser source right in here, and it's gonna kind of bury it. Hold on, let me get this out of the way for you. This is where you're going to put the URL you just copied from your analytics sub counter. The whole thing goes right there. I'm also going to say this is shut down when it's not visible. And then as you can see, it shows up right there in your window. You can move it around to wherever you want to. This is where you can also edit it a little bit. I'm gonna make it bigger, but I'm also gonna crop it by clicking the Alt button. It might be different on a Mac and holding down the Alt button while I'm sliding these in, allowing enough space for any growth on the sub count as well. So see, there you go. Now we still have a slight problem. There's that gray background, right? We don't really want that. So we're gonna come back over here to our sub counter and we're going to open the properties. With the properties open, we're going to copy and paste a bit of code into the custom CSS. I will have this listed down in the description of the video. Now, what this bit of code does is it takes the information from the sub counter page and kind of customizes it. This green is what the gray background is gonna turn into. And this hex number right here is the sub counter number color. So it's no longer gonna be this white. It's going to be a magenta pink. You can change either of these two settings to any color you would like. I would recommend that this one stays green and I would recommend that this one changes to match your overlay. Go ahead and click okay here. And as you can see, it's lovely, isn't it? Just gorgeous, it's stunning. <laughs> the next step is gonna to be to add a filter to this so that you can remove the green. So you're gonna come back over here, right mouse click on your sub counter, and you're gonna select filters. And under the filters, you're gonna do an effect filter. We're gonna select the chroma key effect filter. I'm gonna leave it called that because it just makes sense to me. If it doesn't already have green selected or if you used a different background color, you'd wanna chroma key out that color type. I'm gonna leave it at green. I am not gonna change any of these settings. I'm gonna click close and there you have it. It removed the green and it just left it this nice lovely magenta that we have here. If you want it to not be colored magenta, you need to change that second number to something that's going to match your overlay. In my case, that's white. So you make sure you go into the sub counter properties Go down here to this second portion of the customized CSS and just change that hex number to something that matches your overlay. This is white. That looks so much better with my overlay. You can make it any size that you need to and place it anywhere on your live stream overlay now. I usually have mine up in the corner. You can put it under your camera. You can even make a nice little title with it as a text source by going back into here, adding a new text source, sub counter title. Sub counter title works for me and you can change these properties however you would like to. Just click okay and obviously resize it to match up. Oh wait, did I just call it? I did. Hold on a second. I just need to say sub counter. I don't need to say sub counter title in there. There we go, that's so much better. <laughs> And there you have it. This is a great way to add your sub count to your live stream overlays. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching this. Leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video or live stream. Bye everybody. Hugs for all. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we should take up the whole screen with this. Let's just, just like that. Ta-da. <laughs>